K-State entered the day needing a win this week and next week to clinch a spot in the Big 12 title game. The Cats could also clinch this week if they won and Texas lost at KU. We'll get to that game too, but we start with the Wildcats. They got to take care of their own business and the crew's getting the snow cleared out of the bleachers for the Mountaineer fans and we are ready for football in Morgantown. Wildcats come out hot. Deuce Vaughn 15 yards to the end zone. Caps off a five yard 65 play, 69 yard drive for the touchdown. And how about the Wildcats on defense? West Virginia's first drive picked off by Sincere Mason. He's getting the start with Kobe Savage out from injury. It's a pick six, 14-0. What a start for the Wildcats. Hold on though, Neil Brown's team has an answer. In fact, it's a pick six of their own. Make it 14-7. They actually scored twice, missed one PAT. So it's a one point game. Cats give it to the pride of Junction City. It's Justin Aaron on the voice. It's DJ Giddens on the football field. Not just a big back. He's got speed too. 49 yards. K-State goes up eight back in the red zone later. We're still in the first quarter, folks. Buckle up. Will Howard, the QB sneak, the touchdown. K-State leads by two scores. Lots of scoring in this one if you haven't caught on to that. West Virginia goes deep ball, loses a couple defenders. It's pure chaos in the first half. They score. The defense not so great. The offense firing on all cylinders. Will Howard, check this out, threads the needle to Ben Sinnott. The big fella continues his momentum from a breakout performance last week. These teams combined for 56 first half points. Let's talk about Ty Zentner. Why not? He does the kickoffs, the punts, and the 53-yard field goals. The Shawnee Heights grad drilled 53 and 46 in the first half. K-State runs away with this one. A wild game. Wildcats win 48 to 31.